Hello YouTube, in this video I am going to show you a full review of Phantom ROM version 11 for your Samsung Galaxy Note 2 N7100. So this is the ROM running. Okay, we will go to the settings and check. This ROM is uh, running on 4.4.2 which is based on 4.4.2. You can see the version is Phantom version 11.0. And this is a Note 2, Note 3, S5 hybrid feature, uh, featured ROM. So you can find all those features in this one. And it is fully debloated and uh, blockable from your Aroma installation. So if you look at the uh, notification bar and then overall looks, it is pretty similar to S5. So it is S5 user interface and as you can see. Then you have wallpapers. S5 wallpapers are there, S5 and Note 4 wallpapers are there and then uh, if you look at the settings, uh, themes there are uh, many different themes you can select this is color OS all themes are look good this is uh, color OS by the way this is Huawei, this is Miui, this is Fang, Yu, Mi, and then Fuku, iPhone theme are there. This is my favorite one, Miui version 5. I'll keep this one for, for now. Okay, so this is Miui theme. We'll go to uh, S5, we have an S5 Dana with settings like that. And then uh, the Dana features the in call UI and also the call recording is there you can find the call recording button and we have uh, in if you look at the logs and all these things are here then if you look at the message messaging application it is actually from a new one you can find the safe mode option here and then uh, notification options are there and there is uh, one more extra feature called this floating message. I'll show you a demo of floating message for now. I send an SMS. I hope you will come right now. Okay, here you can see the floating message. It is pretty neat, good looking one. Okay. Next we have uh, browser S browser from S5. You can see many options are there. The exit button is there. And if you look at the camera. The camera app is customized, which includes uh, this. You can use this volume key as a camera key. You can toggle that. Yeah, toggle that. And then at the at the bottom, you can also turn off the shutter sound like that. Okay. Then, if you look at the toggle menu notification bar, you can find toolbox. This toolbox from S5 actually, spotted from S5. Using toolbox, you can easily open many applications from here itself. Okay. So if you look at the power saving option, there is a gray screen mode. You can turn turn it off on, so you can save more battery by turning it on to black and white mode. That is gray screen mode. Uh, you have the uh, restrict performance and uh, restrict background data as well and if you look at the here we can have uh, ultra power saving mode it will help you, help you to save more power by changing the entire UI into a minimal okay here you can see there are a limited number of apps you can add from here you can add all those things and then it will show the battery percentage, current battery percentage and then the estimated maximum standby time. You can also add more, many apps to here using the UPSM mode, I'll show you. Uh, in menu you can see the UPSM, UPSM mode. Okay, here is the UPSM mode. Using this manager, uh, UPSM manager you can Add or delete the application from that that uh, ultra power saving option. And then if, uh, if you look at the next option, we have okay advanced multi window. I'll show you. 
the first feature is you can drag and drop things to things from from one window to another one if I go to drag and this one to the below one I can simply select it and then drag it then you can see option is there and then one more option is called quad window that you can use four different windows at the same time you can see I'm using four different windows I'm sorry I'll show you once again okay I'll use this one okay four windows at the same time and we can also add these four windows in a single group I can add so it will be saved in the single group for the ne next time I can simply click on that one and the whole four application will run okay you can see four application turned on so this that is grouping then look at the next feature then I have uh, a smart features like smart stay smart score and smart post it's all working and then here is a download booster which will uh, turn on uh, your mobile data and Wi-Fi and then use both bandwidth to speed up the downloading and then here is the S finder you can uh, do finding purposes and then quick connect which will help you to connect to all the nearby devices and there is a blocking mode you can use this mode to block calls and uh, messages using you can see these things and you can also set at what time the blocking should happen okay so that's it for that one if you look at the settings menu you can find lock screen in lock screen you have uh, unlock effects many unlock effects are there like um, light effect this is a light effect and then a particle effect this is this is effect from S5 and then watercolor blind effect this one I like okay this is blind and then circle effect and then uh, repair ink okay just go and check it out the next option you have uh, call and message block option here so you can block call or message using a call block list or block list and, uh, if you look at the S pan you have feature air command feature is there okay I'll turn on the air command and using the S pen I can turn on that one you have to press this S pen button if you press that one it will open up there are five different options like the first one is action memo is used to do some kind of actions like if I wrote a number and I want to call from here I can do that some error is showing I don't know okay so it is there and then the next setting is uh, scrapbooker which will help you to select a portion of the screen and then you can send it over any app apps like whatsapp okay next option is screen right and then S Finder and then Pen Window. You can see, you can go and look at the Air Command feature of Note 3, and this is the same as that one. So I'm not wasting my time here. So that is it for that one. And then in the Pen Window, there is a mode for this one. In Pen Window, there is a number of turn on that again okay in pen window there is actually a limited number of application we can add here we have only limited application but in this ROM there is a mode which help you to add even more application the mode is called pen window manager from here we can add more applications to that pen window go and check it out okay so next one uh, there are two 
pull up from fake jab modes are there one is from here no? if you swap right like this you can get and then one is the here so two fake jab options are there and then if you look at the menu option we can have oh here there is the add add free mode is there and then wiper for android is there so these are the more comes with this this ROM. And then if you look at the uh, apps, you can find many S5 apps are there like uh, S Planner, Calculator, My Files, all from S5, and Gallery also from S5, Music. Okay. So if you look at the uh, Note 3, there are some applications like Note 3, S Note, and then Note 3 Sketchbook. Those, these option, these apps from Notary, and then Story Album is there. Okay, then uh, you have Toolmate also. Comes with this ROM. So all oh, that's it, and you can actually add many more apps and goodies from Aroma Installation. And there is one more thing that is um, you have a lot different. Uh, reboot options like reboot, reboot shell, re uh, reboot to download mode and then reboot to recovery so overall I like this ROM very much you can go and check it out I hope you all enjoy the video if you enjoy this one please uh, hit the hit like button if you want to know how to install this ROM you can find the link at the video description below so that's it thanks for watching please subscribe for more